Hey there! In today's vlog, I will take you with me and to show you the real behind the scenes of how I make my videos on YouTube. Step one of all of my video production is to pick a topic. I usually have a running log of all potential topics that you submitted in the comment section or through LinkedIn that you say you want to watch. And also I have a list of topics that I feel inspired to shoot. So in this particular vlog, I will take you through the making of the how to self learn UX research video, which is the video that I just posted a couple weeks ago on my channel. So the second step of my video creation is to script my videos. I got many questions on how long does it take for you to actually prepare these videos. For my videos that are more factual, like survey science, sampling strategy, UXR salary, these videos contained a lot of hard facts and they require a ton of research beforehand. These are the videos that usually take the longest to script. Another type of videos on my channel are UXR career tips like these ones. These videos typically don't contain any hard truth, so my perspectives are mostly from my own observations and insights and recommendations I synthesized on my own. For more spontaneous type of videos, such as a stressful day in my life or my YouTube journey, my script is a bit more fluid. I list out some of the key talking points I wanted to cover, and I usually just let it flow a little bit during shooting day. All right, so this is the third day of scripting day. I finally felt like I'm pretty confident of where it's at right now, so I I wanted to show you what it looks like before we go into shooting day tomorrow. So I normally put all of the videos that I plan to shoot in a separate folder and I label them by the order that I plan to shoot them. Since I'm now filming some vlogs, I need to be very specific about my A-rolls and B-roll script. A-roll is this. People also call it talking heads and majority of the videos on my channel are A-roll videos. I just speak to the camera. And what B-roll is, is supplementary footages. Like every time when I'm showing you these kinds Kind of footages that my face is not in it, it's called B-roll. You can see very specific guidance that I wrote for myself for A-roll, no voiceover, B-roll, no voiceover, and also my voiceover script. That's why it's actually much harder and much more complicated to make vlogs. You have to spend extra time scripting out all of the footages and how they work together. It also kind of requires you to already have a vision of how these different footages would supplement each other. So it takes a lot more planning. If you have your favorite YouTubers who also specialize in making vlogs, be sure to give them your appreciation. <laughs> This is my makeup of the day. I very rarely wear makeup these days. I actually really like putting on my makeup after showering during filming day, almost like ceremonial. It gives me this mental checkpoint that this is the day I'm gonna do some big things. So I'm finally ready to shoot. There are normally a couple of things that I need to make sure to check before I started filming. One is clean up the background. I also need to set up my lighting. That's why you see my face is light up here. I also need to set up the camera position so it captures my face, my upper body, and it does not capture my sweatpants. All right, so I'm gonna start filming now and I will do a check-in after I film. All right, so I just finished filming today. It took me three hours to film two videos today, Ooh, which is not my best record. After I finished my second video, I felt like I couldn't keep up going just because it's getting late. I have lost all of my energy. So I just decided to take a pause, reserve the third video for the next filming day. This type of situation happened to me before. It doesn't feel great when you have a full day planned and things started to fall out of schedule, but I guess being 
a content creator for over a year had taught me to be okay with the sudden setbacks during the process. And now that we're on this topic, so one of the questions that I get very frequently from my friends and family, from my coworkers, is about this journey of content creation. How do you still get to keep pushing for this content creation journey? It seems like there's so much work, there's so much planning, as you can see, like do not sleep. Taking care of your mental and also physical well-being is so, so important to enhance your productivity. Last year, I experienced a pretty severe burnout and that was the time that I had to cancel a lot of my scheduled one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. I also was not feeling great at work. I didn't feel motivated to do things. And now looking back on it, I felt like the one thing I did right that saved me from that burnout period was I started to invest more time into actually have a better lifestyle that helps me feel good physically. And I wanted to give a big shout out to the personal trainer that I have known and learned from throughout this process, Vanessa. She used to work in tech full time and gradually she transitioned into being a fitness trainer full time. So she understood the process that I am going through of balancing these two. So the biggest thing I have learned from Vanessa is that to maintain quote unquote healthy lifestyle is not based on or purely based on one's willpower. I used to have this notion that in order to be healthy and have a healthy lifestyle, you need to feel very sore, be so sweaty after your workout session. You need to eat like a rabbit basically and you need to be in control of your appetite. And this mentality and mindset was so wrong because if one day it slipped, you will feel like a complete loser. The truth is your willpower will only sustain you for a very short period of time. And the only way to adopt healthier lifestyle in the long run is is to adopt an easy plan that you can follow and you can manage for the rest of your life basically. Anyways, I wanted to give Vanessa a huge shout out. So if you are also curious about how to establish a healthier, sustainable lifestyle and you wanted a professional's perspective to help you set your own goal, I highly recommend checking out Vanessa's free video training on her website, which I'll link it in the description down below. All right, enough said. So it's getting pretty late. I will wrap it up. I'll do another check-in next time when I am about to edit my videos. Hey there! It's Sunday morning. I have my coffee here. It's a beautiful day out there. I want to do a quick check-in with you because I'm about to start my post-production work. So this whole area is a little nook in our living room area. There is where I film and here is where I edit. So the first step is I uploaded all of my raw footage, including audio and video into this computer. I do all my editing work on this iMac Pro 27 inch with the M1 chip. This is a great computer for creative work such as video editing or graphic design. The software I typically use is the good old Final Cut Pro. I consider my editing process fairly simple. I don't have a lot of fancy schmancy animation, transition. Final Cut Pro has just been a very trustworthy, beginner-friendly tool since the beginning of my creator journey. Never charge me anything extra, so it's my old friend. My video editing process is fairly straightforward now that my editing style is a bit more established. So the first step is to make a rough cut of the whole video. This means to cut out all the gibberish words and spaces, mistakes, wrong sentences. This will take about three hours. Next, it's more detailed editing, which includes adding subtitles and text instructions, and also adding these zoom in and zoom out effects when I'm talking about something important. Altogether, it usually takes two workday nights or a total of eight to 10 hours to edit a video on my channel. I know, it's a huge effort. It doesn't mean that it's difficult to do, technically speaking. It just takes time and dedication. Hey folks, so I just finished editing my video. This is a Thursday night at 11 p.m. So I wanted to show you what the final footage looks like. So this is what it looks like as a final track. I added some background music there. So now I need to export it. So while I'm waiting for the exporting, there is one final step that I need to do, which is to create the thumbnail photo for the video. So I usually use my iPad Pro and also use my Procreate app to draw it out. I can show you a little bit of what the process looks like. So this is all of my past thumbnail. So I usually just copy one that I really like and I will start editing it.
Hey everyone, glad to see you here. My name is Ayona and welcome to my channel.